looked and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And I had it in the light and I could see red. And I was like, I believe I was just bitten by a black widow. Right, guys so we're gonna have a little chat <laughs> and this one is probably gonna be more of a chatty kind of vlog so if you want to just listen to this like maybe it's like a podcast or whatever like you don't really have to watch it um so I feel like this is gonna be more of a chatty vlog I may include some clips here and there of other stuff that I've been doing today um we're gonna talk about this and this and this and this so, <laughs> what, um, today is Monday. You may hear the dogs in the back. They are currently in quote-unquote timeout. All right, sorry. We had to fix the little hair stitch going on here. Uh, <laughs> said I've had my hair up all day. I basically whipped that bun up because it was, like, the best that I could do with my arm. Um, I've been having some issues trying to lift my arm up. Um, this one is not as bad, but it's much better than what the other one is. So, we're going to start with Sunday night because uh, Super Bowl and everything. Not because of Super Bowl, but because it is the identifier of what was going on. <laughs> so, going through, I was like in and out of the house uh, when the Super Bowl game was on. And like going to tend to horses, going to feed, let, like come in chill for a little bit, then go outside, let them out, get water. It was just like one of those things of like, I was going through and I'm sure we all do it of like going through our barn tours and we have to go to the bathroom. It's like, oh, I can hold it. I can hold it. So I'm like, oh, I can hold it. I'm just gonna put up this hay bag and then I'll go inside. So go through, I had climbed up the ladder a little bit differently to put up the hay bag. And y'all have not seen the barn, so y'all don't know what the structure is there. But I had climbed up the ladder to go put up the hay bag. And I was like, I'm going to hurry up and run up this. Try to tie it the best I can. And I guess when I did, I had bumped the rafter or whatever with my shoulder. And there could have been spiders right up there. Not like closer to the bottom of the rafter or whatever. Or I had hit it with my hand or something. Either way, I had seen a spider like fling by my face. And I was like, ooh. And I like had brushed it. And as a matter of fact, I was wearing this coveralls and um because we're in February right now so I was like wearing coveralls I had like a hoodie on and everything so I was just like I just flung my hand it was like oh just whatever because like spiders don't really phase me that much um so I was like just going through I was like I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurry up and get this done and so I had hurried up and got the hay bag done my hair was up in a bun um and so I'm like going in, into the house and everything and then I had ended up just chilling around in the house and watching the football game like the halftime show and commercials and whatnot and so I had probably chilled in the house for like a good hour 30 minutes to an hour and I had told my mom I was like hey I'm gonna go finish closing up the barn for the night uh making sure that everybody's good everybody's got everything water's full hey all that so I go out there and everything, take all, like, take care of everything like that, come in the house. And so, uh, I think we had finished watching, like, the last of the fourth quarter or whatever. And so, I'm only saying, like, the time frames of the Super Bowl just because that is the only time frames that I really have. Um, so, after all that, I told mom, I was like, okay, I'm going to go get in the shower and then I'm gonna go to bed and so go and I had actually took a bath and I was just chilling relaxing in the water and everything and my sister walks in and I had like sat up and when I turned my head I had seen it in the corner of my eye it was like right like right here 
just about. So when I turned my head, I could see like in my peripheral vision that the spider was like right there on my shoulder. And I like freaked out a little bit because I wasn't expecting it. So I'm like flinging like this and I like went like that and I noticed it was still there. So I did it again and it finally like let, like it was gone. And so my sister, she is very like, she doesn't like spiders. So it's, I was surprised like she didn't say anything. Like she's like, I didn't even know. And so I was like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was a black widow. I don't know. Was, I don't know what happened. Like I didn't, it didn't feel like a bite had happened or anything. So I had gotten out of the bathtub and everything, like calmed myself down. Um, I was picking at this little thing, not this, but there's like a little pimple or was a pimple or whatever there. And so I was picking at that and I just kept on scratching down my shoulder. I was like, why is my shoulder like itching and everything? And so I had like looked and you can see it better in this picture, but you could see like it was red. And so when I went to go touch it, it was like burning. So I was like, I don't know what's going on. And I was like, I need to find this spider right now. So I was like going through my bathroom, like shaking out clothes and everything. Cause I was like, I didn't see where it went. So I'm not sure if it went closer to the toilet, if it went to the other side of the bathroom, I'm not sure where it went. So I think whenever I was going through, I actually ended up finding it next to a sock or something like right behind the trash can. So I'm sitting there looking, cause I was like, I know I seen it was black, but I don't know what, like what kind of spider it was. So I had, was sitting there like still like feeling like itching at my shoulder and everything and just going through trying to find the spider. And I'm like shaking out all these clothes and everything. Chloe ditched me, she left. <laughs> so um, she's like, uh, there's a spider in the bathroom. Peace, I will see y'all later. <laughs> so she left, went to go to bed. And so I'm sitting here like frantically shaking out clothes and everything. My mom is like finishing up getting stuff cleaned up and everything for the end of the night and she's about to go to bed and I find like the uh sock and I had was in there I was like looking at the spider and I had looked and I was like you gotta be kidding me so I was like mm. so I had hurried up and grabbed me uh, like some folded up like toilet paper and was sitting there like getting it picked it up and everything and was able to pick up the spider with the toilet paper did not touch the spider, but I picked it up with the toilet paper and was looking at it in the light and I could see red. And I was like, I believe I was just bitten by a black widow. So, yeah. So I go and tell my mom, I'm like, my shoulder is like throbbing right now. It's like burning, throbbing pain. It's been itching. So, and like I was looking, I started like Googling like stuff of like a black widow spider bite course it get brought to in uh web md and surprisingly it wasn't as bad as like a lot of other things are <laughs> so it was just like telling me like you could have rash and an itch and nausea and chills and fever and stiffness of the muscle within eight hours and uh your legs may not work like basically saying like your legs are gonna go numb where you're not gonna be able to feel them so you may not be able to walk and i was like mm-hmm I was like, well, I already have the rash and it's itching and it's burning. So I had went to go tell my mom and I was like, okay, so I don't want to alarm you, but I'm pretty sure that I was just bitten by a black widow. And so she had like started freaking out because how she had explained it to me later in the hospital, she was like, okay, so us growing up, she's like, I don't feel like all this was necessary for this. But she's like, us growing up, we were always told if you get bitten by a black widow spider, you're going to die. So it was like one of those things, like, that's how, like, she was, uh, she was taught, like, if you get bit by a spider, like, black widow, you're going to die. So, like, us as little kids, you get bit by a black widow spider, you're going to die. So we're just like, I'm trying to remain calm, looking up at WebMD and stuff. It's like, uh, wash the area with soap and water. Take uh, antibiotic, like, put an antibiotic cream elevate the area ice it like all this other stuff so i was like okay so i'm like maybe this isn't that bad because when everything that i was reading is like if you were like a young child or an older like a much older person if you get bit then it could be fatal but if you're like a healthy like human being and everything and like you're not too incredibly young but not too incredibly old like you you should be fine um 
and everything was like saying like um bring it up to like schedule a doctor's appointment bring it up to your doctor's appointment if you can find the spider kill it bring it to the doctor's appointment so i was like okay well i have the spider we put it in a bag we're all like this is at close to about 10 o'clock at night guys so i had gotten to bed about 9 30 and so by the time that we had like got everything like we were trying to i was trying to take care of myself my mom was like hurry up we need to go to the hospital so i'm like it was a little bit frantic both ways because it's like i'm just trying to focus on getting everything done like quick fast and in a hurry and my mom's like we need to go to the emergency room now <laughs> so it was like <sighs> but i had went to the doctor or went to the emergency room my phone was about to die like i think i only had like less than 10 percent when we left and i thought I didn't grab my phone charger because I thought my mom had one in her truck and she didn't. So my phone ended up dying like halfway through the night. But uh, so we go to the, like we start heading to the emergency room. So like that was like my first symptoms and everything was the rash and itching and burning. So and then I had gotten like a cold water bottle out of the fridge and I was like constantly like putting it on there or I'd have my hand wrapped around and like place my hand where it was freezing on the area. Um, for a DIY ice pack because I didn't stop by the freezer to grab one. And so uh, we start going about halfway there and I'm like, I have another symptom. So I'm a little bit nauseous. <laughs> so she's like, don't throw up in my truck. And in my mind, I'm just thinking like, okay, I only throw up if I'm like super sick. Like if I throw up, like there is something incredibly wrong. So I'm like, okay, I will try not to throw up in your truck because I was like, I'm going to be able to tell if it's getting there like if i like it start getting to the point of where it's like i'm going to throw up and i will know but it was just like really like the nauseous like if you ever get nauseous like some a lot for me i tend to burp a lot so it's like uh, like my chest my my chest will get tight and everything it's basically just like burping up bubbles or whatever so that's what it feels like to me whenever i get nauseous um, so I was like sitting there, I was like, okay, I don't feel like I'm gonna, I don't feel like I'm gonna be sick. So, uh, we get there and then come in to the hospital and like the hospital regulations, you have to wear a mask. I didn't bring a mask with me. I wasn't worried about that. Um, but the, I had went in the police that was there. He's like, you need to have a mask. I was like, I just got bit by a black widow spider. A mask is the least of my worries, right? Now. He's like, wait, what? Uh, are you sure you got bit by a black I'm like I'm pretty sure it is in this bag he's like you brought it I was like well yeah that's what Webin D told me to do I didn't know <laughs> so I'm like okay so I found out like if you go to the doctor or go to the ER with a with a spider bite of a black widow apparently you're like famous or something because everybody's like is it really a black like I think the most like infuriating question that I got are you sure it's a black widow spider oh I don't know it's black and it's got a red hourglass you tell me so and like the thing with mine that I had killed and everything that was that had bit me on the shoulder is that it had a red hourglass it was super super tiny like I don't have a picture of it I obviously don't still have it I left it at the hospital <laughs> um because it was such a main attraction there so I just like they could keep it I don't care but it was so like itty bitty, like literally like this whole body was maybe that big, not, not including the legs. And so apparently everybody in the hospital is like, oh, thinking of your usual black widow spider of like the butt is as full as a tick and it's got a red hourglass only on the belly. And that's what your black widow is. And I come in with this itty bitty looking thing. It's like a juvenile and it's got the red hourglass on the belly, but it's got two dots on the back, like two red dots on its back. So they're like, are you sure? I don't, I don't think that this is, I'm like, pretty sure. If uh, you don't believe me, then I guess you could just kick me out on the side of the road or whatever. I don't, I don't care. I just came in because I got bit by this thing. I'm showing symptoms. I need y'all to tell me what to do. <laughs> so we're going through. Um, I told him what all I did. I took like a Benadryl, been icing it, obviously keeping it elevated because it's my shoulder. 
Um, I can't remember. I did something else, and I, I don't know. But they're like, well, you pretty much did like half the stuff yourself. I'm like, okay. So do can I go home? Like, what is the next precaution here? And so, uh, the guy had came and he's like, since your symptoms are pretty mild, I'm gonna go ahead and call poison control to see what they uh would recommend. Um, but since your symptoms are so mild, we probably aren't gonna keep you here. And so I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So I'm sitting there waiting for the doctor to come back and so he comes back says that he got off the phone with uh poison control and they want to keep me for eight hours from the bite time so from 9 30 uh we were there and i think at this point it was already like 11 11 30 so they were like okay so we need to keep you on a heart monitor for the remainder of the eight hours so i was like okay so that's how i got little stickers I got those two, and then there's two, like, on my lower belly, and then there's one, like, right here in the center of my breastplate. So, I still have those on. We are literally, like, in the first 24 hours of this. <laughs> um, so, I want to say, like, we are, we're not quite to the 12-hour point of when I checked out of the hospital, but, yeah. So, I had put on the stuff for the heart monitor um they taped up my finger and then i had the blood pressure cuff and i had just that stuff on till about two o'clock in the morning i think and then and it like some of the nurses were coming in and out in and out and then like there's a nurse that he had, like when i had asked the doctor i'm like we're just doing a heart monitor like there's no needles right and he's like i don't think so I ended up getting needles. So, we all know how I do with needles. Um, so, the nurse that had came in, I guess me and my mom think that he was like a, like the, one of the top certification nurses. Um, because he came in telling my nurse like what to do and everything. And she was very unprofessional, um, inappropriate, I feel like. She, like, by the time that me and my mom were ready to leave, like, we were ready to leave. Like, she did not do crap for us, basically. Um, and was cussing in the room and everything. So, I was like, okay. But she had, she gave me a tetanus shot up here. This actually hurts worse than the bite itself. Like, it still hurt. Like, the, me tapping it, like, this is, like, there's a little bit of soreness and pain. But, uh, tetanus shot here. I'm pretty sure she pushed air into my arm, which I don't think you're supposed to do with a shot. But it sounded like there was air that she did not clear out the syringe. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what all that is about. But, like, I've always been, like, taught, like, giving horses a shot or whatever. Like, you clear out the air out of the syringe. It did not sound like it because it sounded like there was air all in there. And she just shoved it in my arm. Um, then this, I'm not sure how well you can see it. This, she blew out my vein and blamed it on me that I had jumped. I could have jumped, but not that severe. Um, mom, My mom said that she fished for it. I told her specifically. I said, if you need to reshoot me, reshoot me. Please don't fish for my vein. And so my mom was like, she fished for your vein. I'm like, of course she did. So she blew out my vein here, which... If you remember from a previous vlog, I had went to go get labs done at my other doctor and they found it just fine. Um, so then when she blew out my vein there, then she stuck me here. She was supposed to put like a butterfly IV in my hand. She never put an IV in my hand, which I was like, because she kept on talking about how she would have to stick me multiple times and everything. And so she was, it was funny because I was like, at that point I was tired. I was over it. And then they wanted to give me shots. So I was like, mm, no. So she had given me the tetanus shot. Then she had did that. And then, like, she was, like, talking about doing my hand. And she's like, well, my rule of thumb is I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, stick you more than twice. I said, honey, your twice is up. <laughs> she's, like, looked at me like, uh, I'm like, your twice is up. You, you already stuck me twice. So she, uh. Then she goes through and she was talking about putting the butterfly IV through my hand. 
She kept on talking about putting an IV in me. Never put an IV in me. Um, and then stuck me in my hand. I don't know what she did. I noticed, like, there's a couple of little things going on with my hand. I'm not sure, like, if it's something with the veins. If she might have did something there. I'm not. I don't know. It just looks a little bit weird to me. But. So, stuck me with in the hand. And then I just about, like, growled at her, I think. I don't even remember the kind of tone that I had with her. Because, like, I had yelled. And they're like, it's not even in there. I said, then what are you doing with my hand? Like, in a low, like, growling voice. I'm like, what are you doing with my hand? And she's like, I'm not doing anything. I'm like, yeah, you are. So, she had uh, stuck me. And... She Going through when she stuck me. She's like, okay, now hold still. I'm like, no, now is when you hurry up. And then, so got all that. So been wrapped up this morning since three, four. I'm probably going to try to take these off later. Um, I'm going to wait and take these little sticky things off till like later on at night. Because if you've had these on, they like hurt when you take them off. Like ripping duct tape off of like your arm. But uh, then I ended up getting moved into another room because they needed my room to watch a patient because um, they had somebody else come in. They're like, we need this room for the camera um, that's in the corner so that we could watch, like, watch the patient to make sure, like, I don't know what was going on with them. Like, if it was somebody coming in from an ambulance or what. Um, then I want to say about, like, 3.30 I think that there was like a girl, like a lady that had came in and just like basically hacked until she threw up. And I was like, and I would look over and my mom would be passed out. I'm like, I cannot sleep through half of this. So like I was on and off uh, sleeping probably like for 30 minutes to an hour on and off. Um, But yeah, and then they released me at like, a little bit after five and then got home like right around six o'clock I think it was so me and mom had went to sleep and mom says she was gonna get some sleep in before she went into work and brought my sister to school and everything so they they waited and uh went to school later so and I I took off for the day that was already planned I said it just so happens that I got all this going on the same day. So, <laughs> just all this kind of fun stuff. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. But, uh, yeah. If you... And I had put, like, stuff on my stories, like, closer to, like, the beginning of wintertime. When, like, there was a lot of, like, baby black widows and stuff around the barn. Of, like, please be careful around these and everything. And that's, like... I've... Like, this is the first time I've been bit to my knowledge so yeah um i said now we know what to do for next time hopefully there's not a next time <laughs> um but yeah so i just wanted to come on here and have a little chatty vlog and tell y'all my little story of going to the hospital from black widow and yeah just going through all the things oh and the nurses passed around the spider for I don't even, I don't even know how many people came in, like, there was one that had, like, a nurse in the triage, and then she was, like, telling people to come in and look at the spider, and then they gave it back to me, and then went to another place, and they wanted to see the spider, so I just showed them the bag, and then there was, like, right before they had stuck me, there was a guy who was, like, I hear that there's a spider in here. I'm like, he's in that bag if you want to keep him. <laughs> so it was like, I was like the famous person of the ER for the night because I had a Black Widow spider with me. And I was like, this is not how this works. I get bit. You're not supposed to be like, I want to come see the spider. But that's my little story time of Black Widows and what happens. So like my main symptoms were the rash and itching and burning about like 30 45 minutes in I want to say let's see the rash started about 
five to 10 minutes after. Then about like 30 minutes from there, that's when the nausea hit. And then by the time that I had made it to the ER and got checked in and all that other fun stuff. So it was probably about like an hour, but an hour and 15 maybe after getting checked in and everything. Uh, waiting in there then I started feeling chills like that's really the only symptoms that I had um here we are 12 hours after like over 12 hours after um I have a little bit of soreness in this shoulder this shoulder is painful we don't talk about it like the whole arm itself is just done um I have not been able to lift up my arm over my head really this one this one I'm pretty much okay with it um, I went to go get a horse feed this morning and I had asked the guys, I'm like, can y'all please do all the work for me up there? Because I cannot, I cannot get up there to help. When I go to get feed and everything, I usually go to like a little feed mill that's not far from the house. And, uh, I get up in the back of the truck and help them out and everything. So today I was like, I need y'all to help me out here today. And so whenever I was getting ready to leave, they were like, are you sure you're going to be okay? Like, you got somebody to help you whenever you get to the house? I'm like, yeah, my uncle's going to help me. Uh, we've got this. So, and they're like, okay. They're like, try not to. And when I first got there, they're like, did you get fucked off your horse? I'm like, nope. Not even a horse this time. So, yeah. But thank y'all for coming to my entertainment of Black Widows and what to do. Um... I would suggest looking up on WebMD of like Black Widow Spider Bite, I think is what I had looked up. And it like went through like saying like what to do. And I pretty much did like half of those and I was really fine. Um, for some reason, the poison control is just like just try, like put a heart monitor on and just watch her for the remainder of the eight hours. So, yeah. Said, so, and then I've heard some people where they're like, I had, I like never even had an reaction to it me i've had two or three allergic reactions and we don't know what caused it so we were a little bit like worried about like if i was gonna have a reaction like a bad one so i don't know i don't know i don't feel like i will i don't feel like i did um just regular symptom regular symptoms according to webmd uh but yeah so I hope that you guys enjoyed this little educational episode <laughs> and I hope that maybe y'all learned something from this <laughs> and it's like oh never have I ever been bitten but hopefully I never do and if I do then I already have like this so or maybe you're watching this because you just got bitten by a spider and you're like looking it up on YouTube so but that's my story. What happened? We are within the first 24 hours after. And just really the only thing that I've noticed since I've been off of watch is that my arms are sore. Mostly the one from being stuck. But yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And I will talk to y'all or I will see y'all next week. Bye guys.